From what I've learned so far, it seems there's never been an easier time to get a hold of a gun in Toronto. That's made me wonder about Canada's gun ownership laws and what it actually takes to acquire one legally. We're using lane number five. Oh, okay, so we're all set up here. Yes, exactly. So I'm meeting up with J.R. Cox, who owns and operates gun ranges in Alberta, Ontario, and the UK. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot a semi-automatic handgun okay. and a revolver. Okay? okay. So nine millimeter and a 38 special. So these are gonna be for your first experience, very user-friendly firearms. Okay. Pick up the magazine with your right hand. Yep, it's unloaded, it's I know unloaded, that. but you have to watch because it will have bullets. Why do people want guns? What are they using them for? Sport. Like they're not buying them to put them under their pillow for self-defense. It's much more of a zen sport than people think. It's just you and your target. If you do everything right, you shoot a bullseye. Just the butt back a bit. Now you're gonna look at the front sight. You're gonna pull the trigger and hold it to the rear. Oh, good job. And then you can just rest. What do you think? I actually think it's pretty fun. I had to fight the urge to not close my eyes. Yeah. You were worried about hitting the target and you got in the severing. That was pretty good. What's the process to actually get a gun here in Canada? Well, gun ownership is difficult, but not onerous. Okay, so that all that was. was. Okay, what? So you have to take a firearm safety course. It's two or three days of training, depending on how it's broken down to get the hours in. Once you get your hours in, right, and you do your test, you pass that. You take that paperwork, you send it off to the government, they check a couple of references, check with your spouse, ex-spouse, significant other to make sure that they are not afraid of you having a firearm, take some money from you, send you back a license. Oh, good job. Bullseye. It actually what? hit me in the face. So once you get your license, then you can buy and use a firearm without supervision. Now we're doing is we're moving on to the revolver. Okay. And it'll go clunk. Feels very nerve wracking right now. It's not gonna be. When you pull the trigger, you'll go, oh, I kinda like this one. All of your information goes into the CPIC, so the Canadian Police Information Computer System. The Firearm Center gets, gets a report every day on every firearm owner. All 2.2 million of us, they, we get a check. Sex offenders don't. So if you're a sex offender, after, after three years, you can apply to come off the list. If you're a firearms owner, every day you're checked. All okay. right. Sorry. Awesome. Okay so, okay, so I'm happy with how you're controlling it. Okay. That's all trigger, because you're trying to figure it out. Okay. So let's do it again. Whoa, good job. Well, that's a great group. Gun ownership takes time and it takes a lot of training. And I agree with safety training, right? Because it's a tool, if it's used improperly, people die. It's an inanimate object. A firearm kills nobody. It's the user that kills somebody. You watch of all the, the shootings going on and there's been a rash of shootings. Not one of them was a licensed legal firearms owner. 